Hello everybody, here we are in Australia today and we're gonna ask Australian people what they do for a living and how much uh, they earn a week, per hour, per day, we don't know. They will tell us. Uh, as you heard, I'm not an English native speaker, but I will try to do my best because I speak English, but I don't speak Australian. Sometimes they are too fast, mate. Are you ready, Gibson? Yeah, you're ready? We're gonna jump in a bus. And let's go to Adelaide CBD to ask all these people who walk in the street. Let's go! What's your name? My name is Jelen. When did you arrive here in Adelaide? I came in February 2023. Where do you come from? I came from India. What uh, do you do for a living here? Uh, I'm an international student currently at the University of Adelaide. I also work part-time at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital as a cleaner. Would you accept to tell us what's your wage there? Um, I'm a casual worker, so my wage depends, but I get a minimum of $1,000 a fortnight after taxes. Do you think it is comfortable to live here in Australia? Um, as a single person, I think, yeah. Do you think here it is easy to find a job as a foreigner, for example? Uh, no, it isn't. No? No. More locals in the market with experience, yeah. and when you compare it to an international student with no experience, employers prefer someone with experience. What do you do for a living here in Adelaide? I uh, got a car wash business. Uh, how long have you been in this position? Uh, 18 years. Would you accept to tell us what's your wage here in Australia? Uh, probably mine, probably about 150 to 200. Oh, that's yeah. super, super good. Nice. Okay. And do you think it is easy to find a job here in Adelaide? Yeah, I think so. If you work hard, it's easy to... In Australia, I think it's easy to find a job. Do you have any advice to someone uh, who would come here but he don't know? He doesn't know if he can, can come here easily or yeah. if life is easy going here? Well, um, I'm from a European background. Like My parents came to Australia, nice. didn't know any English and yeah, they succeeded. So if you work hard, you can do it. Everything's possible. Yeah. Let's go. Keep going. As a manager here in a, in a bar and this kind of business, would you accept to tell us what's your range, the range? It all depends, like which, like how many years you have experience yeah. and how many, like, you know much about industry. But I think starting from like 60 to 85, I would say. And just do you think if you come from abroad, it is easy to find a work here in Adelaide, in Australia? Adelaide is kind of... A little small market, I would say, compared to Sydney or Melbourne. Finding a job would be a little, a little bit difficult, but yeah, not a, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, okay. it should be okay. Yeah. So I used to think it's around four thousand or five thousand a month. If you don't mind to move if you have your car, if you're going like Brisbane, Sydney, or whatever. Hmm. You will find it. You will find it. No worries. You will find anyway a job if you're looking for a barrister job or something. Hello, sorry, what's your name? I'm Sai. I'm Sai? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, we just asked Australian people what they do for a living. Can you yeah. tell us what you do for a living? I work in events. I do tickets for um, the Fringe here. The, in a what, sorry? Uh, the Adelaide Fringe. Adelaide I, Fringe, okay. Yeah, I, I sell tickets. Uh, do you speak some French? A little bit. Oh, can you tell us something? Uh, <laughs> uh, je m'appelle Si. Nice, really nice. Enchanté Si. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from here, Adelaide. Okay, and uh, would you accept to tell us what's your uh, salary, your wage here? Um, I make about 60k. 60k a year? Yeah. Really interesting. Do you get any advice uh, to someone who would come work here, but he don't know if he have to, if he could find a job easily, or if it's if he's gonna be like a struggle to find a job, you know? Um. I think, like, because I work in the kind of temporary events stuff, I think there's always work in that. Okay. Um, for people who are wanting to come across, you uh, find a little bit, a bit of stability. If you, you know, start with something that's a little short term, then you can kind of find a spot that works for you, while without as much risk. Where do you come from here, the days? No, I'm from Portugal. Okay, man. And uh, as a carpenter, because you just used to say you you was carpenter. Um, how much? What was your wage? Twenty-five dollars an hour. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's quite more than us European as a carpenter is better here. 
Yeah, it is and it ain't. You know, it depends. You know how much you pay for rent and for food. Yeah, of course. Because I, I I lived in Portugal. You know, the wages are getting better. Yeah. You know, what I mean, the food's much cheaper. Yeah. You know, transport and that, except petrol, obviously. Yeah, of course. But yeah, you know, so, it depends really. Are you able to save more here, or are you able to save more in a? Uh... It depends again. Like, if you're living on your own, forget about saving. You know what I mean? But if you live with family or like you're sharing the house, then you're able to save money here. Okay, you know what I mean? understand. But don't get me wrong, my mum, uh, she used to work as a cleaner in 1985 yeah. and she was earning around $45. Oh, really nice. So all depends on uh, yeah. your luck and the uh, yeah. employer. You, employer you... and all that, circumstances, yeah. yeah. But I'm happy with 25. You come from Portugal, do you have any advice to people who want to come from Europe or USA or abroad here in Australia? It is easy to, to come here? Not really, like my, my family came here, it was like they, uh, it was like when, when they wanted people to come, you know, to fill Australia up, and yeah. type, you know, like now I reckon is a good time to come because there's a, you know, like, you know, a shortage of like um, trades work, like carpenters, plumbers, and so anyone that has a trade, I guarantee that they will definitely be able to come here. Would you accept to tell us what do you do here for a living? Study here? Yeah. English? Yeah, you study English. English. Yeah. So obviously you're good now in English. That's oh, all right. No. <laughs> so you do like gardening and things like that? Or yeah, cleaning? I do five bathrooms. Six hours here. During the weekend, six hours yeah. per day. Yeah. Six hours per day. Yeah. 52 yeah. per hour? Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> it is easy to find a work in Australia? No, no easy. Look at these bats, they are huge! <laughs> Your accent is, seems Australian now. No. When did you arrive here? Uh, two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks ago yes. in Australia? Uh, but I learned my English in Australia like 20 years, 30 years ago. That's, so, it, that's maybe, it, that's maybe. it. Um, can you tell us what do you do for a living here? I see you work now. Yes, I work with uh, Tour Down Under. I work with Lidl Trek, a bike team and uh, yeah, we do races here. Okay, but what the, are, you, are you manager or you? Yeah, the director of sportif, yeah, for the women's team. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Would you accept to tell us what's your wage, what's your salary here in this position? Oh, I can't say that. Oh, really? That's, that's not public. Can you tell us a range? I, I make a good uh, a number. It's more in the six figures than another number. More than six figures? Yep. That's quite really good money, isn't it? Can you tell uh, us what's your name and where do you come from? Uh, my name is Ishtar. I'm from Australia in New South Wales, up near Byron Bay, a little bit inland. Yeah. Uh, what do you do here in, uh, in uh, Adelaide? Um, I'm doing my postgraduate research on like marine restoration, so restoring marine habitats. Do you have like a, um, a paid job, a wage job, like part-time or something? So I do some work with the university, just as a research assistant. So. Um, kind of processing data or helping with trips. Okay. But I also am on a scholarship for my PhD, so oh, yeah, I get a bit of assistance with that. Would you accept to tell us what's your wage? Yeah, that's fine. Um, so I'm on an hourly for the research stuff because it's casual, so yeah. that's 50 to $60 dollars an hour. 50, that's really interesting, that's a good wage. <laughs> that's a good wage because you like what you do, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. What's the amount do you think to be comfortable here? Um, how much we, we have to, to get like? For a year? Like? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think, I think 50 grand a year yeah. and your salary will cover your minimum expenses. Yeah. But that's not considering things like buying a house one day or supporting children of or any of the extras. So if you're a single person who's young and can get by 50 grand a year is probably okay. enough to get you by on, untaxed. Yeah. Once you start putting tax in there, you pay 60, 70, and then if you've got kids or anything extra like that, then yeah. I think that. that's accurate. Thank you and good luck for your research and your project. What do you do for a living? Man, radiographer. Would you accept to tell us what's your wage? On paper, about like 99. 99 per hour? Nah, no, like a a annual. 99,000. Yeah. But on the books, more like 130. Do you have any advice for a foreigner you come here like us and want to find a job? Man, have a clean record. So guys, that's it for today. We asked the Australian people in Adelaide City here. I hope you all enjoyed that video and uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace.